Hi, this is Brian again uh, at the Computer Workshop. I'm going to give you another quick little tutorial here. So the next thing that we want to do after we've added images to our documents is to make sure that they are ADA compliant. We want to add in what is called alt text. Now to do this, we simply select the image. We'll go ahead and either come up here to the Picture Tools, the Format tab, and this is the newer way that we can do this in 2019 or Office 365 versions of Word. Now right here on the Picture Tools in the Format tab you have an Alt Text button kind of right there in full view. Um, in the old days, in 16 or earlier, you would right click on your image, you would go in and choose Format Picture and in the format picture tab you would look for the picture icon or actually the size and position icon and one of the options in here would have been alt text but in the newer versions they've now put this right up here and it's no longer in a buried location you can actually find it very easily so when I click on the alt text that brings up this little new side panel here and you can write in a quick brief description of what the image is. This would be something that you'd want to do to make sure that screen reading software would be able to read aloud this description of what the image is. Now I'm not going to put anything crazy uh, into this. I'm just going to keep it really simple. So image of books actually let's make that a little bit more descriptive descriptive image of stacked books I mean that tells me everything I need to know about this image um, I could choose to generate a description for me but I'm not going to generally let the computer make these kind of decisions now if I am going to put this image in and it has no real bearing or it has any real import, it is literally a decorative background or something, then I might not want to make sure that I have any alt text, but I'm going to go ahead and bring this alt text panel to bear and I'm going to make sure that I click the check mark here to mark as decorative. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm coming to the point where let's say we have a large document, we might have tables in there, we might have a whole bunch of different images, and we want to make sure that everything in this document is going to be up to speed to be ADA compliant. Now to do this, I'm now going to go to the File tab. And on my Info section here, I have an Inspect Document button which I can click and look at in here, the check accessibility. So clicking this button will bring up this whole accessibility panel. And if I had any errors or issues that would be listed here, I could go ahead and I can choose this, I can choose this, and I can see information about this. Why fix it? What I need to do to fix it? And I can look at all kinds of information about this. Once I go through and I start making all of my corrections and my accessibility no longer has any error warnings, I know that my document is going to be up to speed. In other words, it's going to be ADA compliant and as accessible to as large and as wide an audience as is possible. So once again, just a quick little tutorial, a few things to consider about accessibility, especially when considered in relation with images. So. If you liked this little video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do, again, put out videos every week, and we hope that you enjoy them. And if you do, please subscribe and come back and see what we put out. So until then, have a great rest of your day. Take care.